Hello from Shrix and hello from Smarthood. Welcome back guys to 32nd Android App Development Tutorial. In this tutorial we will talk about on save instance state method and on restore instance state method. You can say this tutorial is the continuation of the previous tutorial that is our discussion on screen orientation. Now let's proceed. Now whenever we switch from portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait then in that case the activity that you can see here is destroyed which means when we change the screen orientation the activity is destroyed and recreated again in another orientation which implies here when we are switching from portrait to landscape mode then activity A of portrait mode it gets destroyed and recreated in the landscape mode right now now activity A in landscape mode is again recreated and again on create method is called so in that case again our variables will be initialized and all the data that was present in the activity A will be completely dissolved so in that case user will be pissed off and he will probably delete your application right now let's check out the activity lifecycle involved in such case now when we start our application on create on start on resume will be called and activity A in the portrait mode will be visible right we are familiar with the stuffs till this point now suppose user is playing a game right now when on create method is called then the score variable is initialized to zero right now after playing for 10 minutes or 20 minutes like that his score becomes what 9827 or any score you can say right now suddenly user decide to switch from portrait to landscape mode then in that case on pause on stop on destroy method will be called this is so because the activity a in the portrait mode is getting destroyed and is getting transformed into the landscape mode so as we discussed in the last slide the activity a in the portrait mode will be destroyed so on pause on stop on destroy will be called and soon after on destroy is called again the on create method is called and the activity is recreated in the landscape mode right now again when on create method is called then user score was earlier 9827 which is now again initialized to zero then he will be probably disappointed with his again score equal to zero right now in order to save this variable data right we are having a on save instance state method right soon after on pause on save instance state method is called now this is the method which will help us to restore our value back to 9827 instead of getting initialized to 0 right so we have to store our this value in the on save instance state method with the help of a bundle right now how to restore the value back right now for that we have another method which is known as on restore instance state method right now soon after on create a method is called name as on restore instance state method now this method will help us to restore back the value of 9827 in the score variable right and soon after this method on start method is called and after that on re after that when on resume is called then in that case our activity a starts again with the score of 9827 right now so user won't be disappointed with your application and he can flexibly switch from portrait to landscape and landscape to portrait whenever he want to right now after that suppose user press the back button then in that case the activity will be destroyed and no data will be saved right this method and this method is only called when we switch from one mode to another mode but in case of back button the activity is simply destroyed and no such method is called to save your data because we don't require to save your data we are actually shutting down the application right now let's proceed now suppose you are filling a registration form and you are having a radio button here and edit text here right now in that case when we switch from portrait to landscape mode then by default the data of all the views are restored back we don't have to write any codes to restore this data back in earlier API versions such thing was not possible but in recent API versions by default our data is restored back whatever we were typing this edit text will not be initialized again and and the data will be restored back right right 
Now we only have to take care of the variables. So we have to write the codes to restore the data of the variables like strings or integer values like we saw in the previous slide and to restore back its value when a new activity in another orientation is recreated right now. Now it is the frequently asked questions asked by the Android developers in many groups and Android forums I have seen that they say when they change the orientation their data is getting erased right now. For that case, the developers.android.com says by default the data is not erased but it is totally not recommended. We can't take it granted that the data of the views will be definitely saved and restored back. So for that, we have to write the codes in order to save the data of these widgets too. So we have to take care of variables and also take care of these widgets because this by default behavior this by default behavior of data is not being erased varies from API versions to versions right. So we can't just take it granted that our data will be restored back right. Now in the next tutorial guys I will show you the codes in action. So meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video. This is Shrek from Smart Heart, signing off.